find the value of x if x is in between 0 and 2 pi. Cos squared x minus cos of x equals 0. So we're going to start this question by actually factoring out a cos of x from both of them. And cos squared x divided by cos of x is just cos of x. And cos of x divided by cos of x is just 1. So we have a minus 1 here equals 0. Um, then great. We can split this up, of course. And from this cos of x, either cos of x is going to be 0 or cos of x minus 1 is 0, which would give us cos of x equals 1. Hmm. So we're going to have a few solutions here. What is x going to be? I'm going to remind you guys of the unit circle. Hopefully I can draw a nice one here. Eh. Close enough. <laughs> um, and I'll remind you guys that these points, this point right here is 0, comma, oops, I always do that. 1, comma, 0, that's what I meant. This point here is 0, comma, 1. And these points are going to tell us what, are the what the values of cosine are for um, the different cardinal, cardinal angles. Right here we have negative 1 and 0, and down here we have 0 and negative 1. Okay, and just as a reminder, cos of theta is equal to x over r. Remember that? Hopefully you do. Um, and meaning that if we take a look at the unit circle, because the radius is always going to be 1, by definition, then cosine of theta is always going to be just the x value. So we're looking at the values of cos that are equal to 0. So here and here, meaning that we're going to have 90 degrees. <coughs> Sorry about that. As well as 270 degrees, which are in radians, because we're actually looking at radians, pi over 2. That was an ugly pi. And actually not too bad. And 3 pi over 2. Is that it? No, of course, because we also have cos of x equals 1. And when is that going to happen? Just here, at 0. So, actually, I'll write it here, but then I'll invert it. 2 pi is not included in our solution, but it would have been also a solution, of course, just because of... Oops, actually, I had meant to do this. 0 is in between or rather x is in between 0 and 2 pi including 0 and not including 2 pi. That's what we normally have, but I messed up and I had forgotten this here. <laughs> so x is 0, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. That's it. Now for many similar videos, you know where to go.